basic education where physical challenge and normal children learn in the same way. So in the sense of togetherness or togetherness. Many times we ask questions but yet no answer. Many times what we see isn't what it seems. Life like the wind often throws shades. But should this determine our destiny? Disabled but not miserable. As we go on our daily activities, we often connect with people from different spheres of life, such as schools, office place, place of worship, amongst others. These meetings bring about interaction, education and transfer of thoughts. Human resources, according to statistics, is said to be the greatest of all resources, but yet it is the most ignored. An estimated 10% of every population is likely to be disabled and up to 1 in 5 of the world's poorest have a disability. With a population of over 140 million, Nigeria has approximately 14 million people with disabilities. Disability is both a cause and consequence of poverty, reduced access to education and unemployment. Poor people without disabilities can develop them due to inadequate nutrition, unclean environments, diseases, inefficient health services, and poor infrastructure. Untreated and chronic diseases affect increasing number of people in developing countries, resulting in physical and functional disability. People with disabilities are around us each day, in our homes, school, religious meetings, amongst others. These people, despite their relevance and importance in the society, have been highly disregarded and ignored. Education is the backbone of every developed nation. Every societal growth is highly dependent on the level of education it provides for all our citizens, both male, female, abled and the disabled alike. The disabled, also called special needs or people with disabilities, are found all around us in our day-to-day -day society, many of whom suffer from health challenges, discrimination and are not equally treated, especially in the area of education. As remedy to this age-long challenge, the government of Niger State in 2003 established a school for the deaf to educate children with hearing disabilities. Today, our team of investigators will be visiting the institution to know more about the school, their teachers, and how the students fare. Musa Belo Special School was established in 2003 with a mandate to educate children that suffer from hearing disabilities. The school, which kick started with about 15 students and two teachers, is a center determined to provide learning opportunities for children at accessible and affordable rates. This school started operating, or rather, it was established in 2003. After we discover a reasonable number out there who are physical challenge and who are equal to the task to receive the same education as we did. So we deem it fit. And we put our head together since we have the knowledge. But okay, why don't we come together and then we form this school. There are a lot of physical challenges, but the one we can lay our hand for now is hearing impaired. So we feel this hearing impaired if they are given that education, and besides, the education of physical challenge from primary school to higher institution, there is a value covering it, it's a free of charge, so that it doesn't have, I mean, it doesn't hide your child at all. We can bring them for schooling, and that is why that education secretary will have that time. Uh, Bimba, the discussion team is said, well, as long as you can establish it, no problem, I will give you a supporting hand. And then we started with about 15 children, with a class of block room. The school is made up of many classrooms, a computer laboratory and library, all aimed to improve the learning standard of hearing impaired children. The children are taught sign languages at early age as it relates to communication with learning aids and other necessary materials that makes learning fun and effective. 
Some of the class tutors, who are also hearing impaired, having undergone some training at both junior and tertiary institutions, employ participatory teaching skills to enable the children be more involved in their own activities. The first it was a uh, testing of their level of hearing loss. Because if you want to educate these children of physical, I mean hearing impaired, you must have to know the level of their hearing loss. Because we have uh, ranging from uh, adult hearing, partial hearing, and total deaf and dumb. Then there is a certain placement. You have to place them. If you are hard of hearing, there is what how you place them. There is, if you are partial hearing, there is how you place them. And if you are deaf and dumb, there is how you place them. But uh, since we don't have such machines to testify their level of hearing loss, you know, we have to place them. So what we do, we place them generally. So if you are ready, the school, just as every other institution of learning, is not void of its challenges, ranging from lack of facilities, teaching aids, and more skillful personnel that will foster better learning. The challenge we with the children, first of all, acquiring that knowledge. Because it will take you time. Most of our dreams are what we call total communication, which is sign language. So, in the first place, a child that doesn't go to school and doesn't know how to even doesn't know what is called sign language, doesn't even know how to read, doesn't know how to talk. You must have first of all you have the big challenges. Teaching him A, B, C, D to perfect A, B, C, D to Z. And then coming to form words. B, Y, something boy. And you know, you have to face a lot of challenges because some people will feel as if you are dramatizing in certain things. So but gradually and then for the fact that uh, we undergo through this course, we know what how it takes to educate them to. So it has to be gradual, and then by coping with them, we are able to overcome such challenges. Bilo's special school, which has undergone a series of challenges, have oftentimes received support from government agencies and non-government organizations. Already, government is taking up whatever I mean, what we need. And then, as I've told you, that uh, we've written a memo for establishing the junior secondary school and then God willing very soon it's going to take up. So government is equally assisting because uh, like most of our learning materials they provide it. Like this book now we use. This is journal of sign language. All whatever you want to teach physical children, especially here in the PIA, is contained in this book. And each book costs 32,000 naira. So if someone can provide at least as reasonable number of this, I think he has done enough. Discriminatory attitude, which is usually found in institutions of this nature, is highly disregarded, and this is why the school practice an inclusive education system. Well, as far as we are here, there is no much discrimination. Why I say there is no much discrimination, we are running what is called inclusive education or uh, intensive, I mean, uh, inclusive education, where physical challenge and normal children learn in the same umbrella. So the essence of belongingness or togetherness will be there. And that is why you see most of these regular schools and then our schools. We own these premises, but we decide to bring them in so that we pop them in, so that we integrate them, so that they play together with the regular ones and the regular ones play with them, so that the essence of belongingness will be there. So there is no discrimination. Some of the teachers who were interviewed has this to say, as some narrated their experiences being disabled. My name is Isa Mohammed. A special teacher. I am happy to see you guys for I am able to relate very well with the children and most of them find it easy to understand. Although there are still some slow learners but in all we do our best to make sure that they understand and get the best from the school. I was born hearing as a child but due to some childhood illness I developed hearing disorder but this has not been a challenge to me. Although sometimes I am not well treated because of my condition. Hello, my name is Abibat. I am deaf. When I was born as a deaf child, my parents began to look for a place where I can be educated and they directed me to this school. When I first started it, it was not easy, but now I have advanced to the tertiary level where I have learned and presently I am a teacher here in this school. One of the problem in our contemporary society is lack of adequate information as parents who have children with these disabilities are not adequately informed 
on what to do or where to go. Uh, well, what we are lacking most is sensitization. Because, as I've told you earlier, that child to child was one of the persons that brought this school to Rwanda. When people are sensitized and you tell them the importance of this hearing impaired, then that is when they will be able to bring their way to school. Some up to this moment I'm speaking to you, they don't know this school exists. So, and as soon as they discover, they don't know where to take the child or he or she to. So what we do, if you, even if you bring your child at a very tender age, for that education, we will examine him and we will tell him and we will ask you some questions to know the level of hearing loss. So that before we place him, and then if he, even if it is above age, we can still admit him. Because what we, what we want, we want him to acquire that education. So we don't reject anybody. Only what we need is just to subsidize the parent and then there is a time we organize what we call guiding and counseling session for this parent. It is important to bring out your world no matter how physical condition it is. Bring him out so I will be able to put him through. Most parents who have children with disabilities usually keep their world away from the society because of what others might say or even think. Not knowing that, these children will be at the disadvantage on the long run. Finally, we must all put hands on deck and realize that, although these people or children may be disabled but yet are not miserable, because there is and will always remain a place for them, just as every other person in the society. They may be disabled but are not miserable. Turn. 